are some people who really have bad timing. I don't get why some people can't just behave like grown-ups and know when to speak, especially on social media. I mean, the Forbes family is still grieving for the death of their son, Kiernan, aka Forbes, and the last thing which they need right now is some attention-seeking girl who is claiming to have been sleeping with AKA. Queen Loli is something else. Even after AKA's fans trashed her online and said she is not even AKA's type, she still went ahead insisting that she had a relationship with him. She also made it clear that she knew about AKA's relationship with Nadia Nakai and she was a side chick. She claimed that their relationship continued right up to the moment when the rapper was gone down outside Wish restaurant. Nadia Nakai must be going through a lot right now. It's not the best thing to hear in this particular state of hers. Instead of healing, she's getting more depressed due to the claims by Queen Lolly. Queen Lolly said that her relationship with AKA never ended as he last saw him last year before he went to America with his girlfriend Nadia Nakai. She added that every time she spent time with AKA, she was satisfied. Every time he sees me or spends time with me, I was satisfied, she said. This industry of being a celebrity is very complicated. It is a full of atrocities, atrocities that one needs to be very strong in order to survive them. When your beloved one has passed on, you really want to have a peace of mind. You want to remember good memories of him or her. But when you hear people talking about how they had intimate relationships with that person, it can only add more pain to the pain that you are already feeling at the moment. This lady here is being disrespectful to Nadia Nakai. She's actually sending a message to her that she was not the only important person in AKA's life. She's actually trying to make her to feel that she was not as special as she thought she was. She thinks because she had intimate relationship with AKA, she was a special person as well. How will Cairo take something like this? This little girl is already of the age of understanding so many things which are happening. She even has her own social media page and there is no way that something like this can be hidden from her. I know Queen Lolly is just trying to ruin the image which AKA has and she's probably trying to make people to feel that AKA was not a good person. AKA's daughter Cairo actually looked up to her father. She loved him so much and he was an inspiration to her. If Queen Lolly thinks that she will be able to destroy the relationship and the good image that AKA had, then she must be joking because everybody knows the real AKA. That is why her fans will not even believe something like that. AKA's fans are even dragging her online saying that she is not AKA's type. Even Queen Lolly's fans do not believe something like that could ever happen. Queen Lolly is just an attention seeker. She has been claiming that she had relationships with people like Master KG and other big celebrities in South Africa. This is not the first time, so we just need to know what's up. I wish that lady could just take a hint and shut her mouth because no one actually cares. She's trying to add to the pain and seeking for attention as well. We only pray for the best and Minadia Nakai keep being a strong lady. I would love to know your thoughts about this whole controversy in the comment section. See you in the next video.